We always want the air to be fresh and healthy. As a normal person breathes in nearly 3,400 gallons of air each day, we spend almost 90% of our time indoors. We work in offices, we study at schools, and we stay at home. We often stay inside shopping malls, even during holidays. The sources of indoor air pollution are almost everywhere. Building materials, combustion appliances, chemical products, office equipment. Our activities indoors also contribute to the indoor air pollution, such as cleaning, cooking, and smoking, obviously. Not only indoors, the pollution outside can get into the indoor environment as well. Indeed, in some cases, indoor air can be several times more polluted than the ambient air. Poor indoor air quality can cause a lot of negative impact to our health. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agencies, indoor air quality is now considered one of the top environmental dangers to the public. Nowadays, more and more children the elderly are suffering from asthma, allergies, heart disease, and even lung cancer. To protect yourself, your family, and your beloved ones, indoor air quality, RAQ, is an emergent area that you should definitely take care of. I'm Christopher. I'm Edwin. Let's take our course, Introduction to Indoor Air Quality. We are going to introduce the common indoor air contaminants their properties, measurement methods, health effects, mitigation and control measures are illustrated. Other important areas related to RAQ, such as ventilation systems, indoor flow characteristics are also covered. We also look into how indoor air quality affects human beings by understanding topics like sick building syndrome, thermal comfort, and local thermal discomfort. Introduction to indoor air quality is suitable for both facility management professional and the general public who cares about IAQ. We hope to see you soon in our course.